Bacteria are remarkable creatures. Although a few of them cause diseases, many are completely harmless and very useful for the biotechnology industry. Scientists can modify these microorganisms through genetic engineering to produce valuable services and compounds, such as medicines or industrial useful chemicals. But there's a problem. Bacterial cells don't have compartments to isolate each biochemical reaction, and this causes trouble. First, the genes introduced to create new metabolic pathways must compete for space and resources with all the other genes and biochemical reactions that the bacteria need to grow and proliferate. In addition, the new genes may interfere with existing reactions, and this can lead to the accumulation of compounds which are toxic or lethal for the bacteria. This outlook on biotechnology changed a few years ago when researchers discovered that bacteria may have some sort of cellular compartments after all. They found that Bacillus subtilis bacteria create structures called lipid rafts. These structures are discrete regions of the plasma membrane that have a different lipid composition. They are enriched with glycosphingolipids, cholesterol and protein receptors, and they serve as organizing centers for cell signaling pathways. In practice, they work like compartments, restricting certain reactions to a concrete part of the cell. This discovery gave rise to the Rafts for Biotech project, a research and innovation consortium aimed at improving the performance of genetically engineered bacteria using lipid rafts. The Rafts for Biotech team is comprised of research institutions and private companies from nine European countries. Over the past four years, they have investigated and developed the best approach to integrate lipid rafts in the biotech industry. Although the raft structures occur naturally in some bacterial cells, the project set out to create artificial lipid rafts using synthetic biology. When inserting new genes into the microbes, the team added DNA sequences that tagged the resulting proteins for transport to a lipid raft. This way, they're not just floating freely in the cytoplasm. By confining the relevant reactions in a membrane domain, they eliminate unwanted interactions with other metabolic pathways and isolate any toxic products that could harm the bacteria. As a result, the cells become efficient mini-factories to create biotechnological products at industrial scale. First, the team tested their approach on different species of microbes which are commonly used in biotechnology. The soil bacterium Bacillus subtilis and a non-pathogenic strain of the gut bacterium, Escherichia coli. Rafts for Biotech determined that E. coli is not a viable model for this use of artificial lipid rafts. But Bacillus subtilis, however, excels at the production of certain biotech products in lipid rafts. It's a gram-positive bacterium, which means it only has one plasma membrane surrounded by a thick cell wall, and crucially, it has been found to form lipid rafts with no human intervention. The team has explored the potential of this standard microbial chassis in the industrial setting by developing and testing three study cases using synthetic bacterial lipid rafts. The first case involved applying raft technology to the production of high-value-added antibiotics, which normally cannot be generated inside bacteria due to their toxicity. The second case used rafts to create vitamins and pigments for the cosmetic industry, replacing chemical-based processes with a synthetic biology approach that can operate at scale using less energy and lower temperatures. For the third case, they engineered bacteria that degrade TCP, an industrial pollutant found in food and drinking water sources. Each study case has gone through a three-step process, and the second use case, production of vitamins and pigments for cosmetics, is the most advanced, having demonstrated full viability for commercial exploitation. Over the course of the project, Rafts for Biotech has established and maintained effective channels for communicating with a wide public audience and with members of the academic and industrial sectors. The project published educational and engagement materials to reach outside the scientific community and also organized industrial, training and academic events. As Rafts for Biotech comes to a successful close, engineered lipid rafts are already a viable proof of concept, paving the way for commercial exploitation of this technology. From the creation of industrially valuable products, such as cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, chemicals or even clothing, to services such as bioremediation of contaminated sites, rafts lay the groundwork for a whole sector of synthetic biology that will bring benefits to European industry, society and the environment.